hello friends welcome to hack the hacker channel today we are going to see what is reverse engineering and one of the reverse engineering tool radar 2 and it is also called as r2 and uh, robin 2 ok uh, first see what is reverse engineering uh, here i write some definition uh, reverse engineering it is the ability to disassemble a program to see how it is working and its function and it is allows to use to take apart a program or software and recreate it without knowing the source code uh, I don't know you understand or not uh, reverse engineering is like a you already have a software and how using that software you have to uh, see how that implemented and what are the function it is using uh, we shall see some examples uh, first see what is reverse engineering in Google <coughs> here uh, reverse engineering is also called as back engineering okay uh, it is a process by which a man-made object is deconstructed to reveal its designs or architecture or to extract knowledge from the object okay and uh, next uh, this is the uh, one of the main important tool is the R2 of reverse engineering R2 stands for radar 2 uh, radar 2 is a reverse engineering tool and it is a free and open source uh, here we can see radar 2 radar 2 is a complete framework for reverse engineering and analyzing binary function binary files composed of a set of small utilities that can be used together or independently from command line ok leave it mm, and uh, if you use Kali Linux then R2 is defaultly in, uh, installed pre-installed in Kali Linux go to start and see reverse engineering tools here radar 2 in Kali Linux it is pre-installed and if you use some windows or another operating system then uh, you can clone the git repository of radar2 uh, go to this link here https github.com radar2 and here you can write clone or download or in go to command line and uh, enter this command git clone this repository and uh, in that go to radar2 uh, go to radar2 cd radar2 and execute this shell file ok and uh, we will see some examples how to use r2 and uh, rabin2 uh, rabin2 is also mainly uh, it is also a reverse engineering tool and it is used to uh, extract the information from binary file ok uh, I will show you some example here I written some C file just see what I written in cat test1.c here I just included the standard input output library and wideman printf ok and <coughs> just compile this program gcc test1.c ok and here I am giving output file also test ok ls ok our object file is created and c execute this file test ok it printed hi hello welcome to hack the hacker channel that what we written in printf ok uh, here the question is can we read the object file c cat test c this is all here we can't read this object file now so using rabbit2 and r2 we can read the object file for example uh, rabin2 fnh fnh is used for the help uh, it will show the what uh, what are the options we can use with the rabin2 uh, iphone it is used for the list sub binaries and etc here this main function is the main option is the iphone it will show the binary info of the file for example rabin2 space iphone capital i test 
see it is showing all details of the, this object file that is architecture and binary address binary size binary type all these things crypto compiler all these things and another main option is the iphone z it will show the what are the strings that we written in the file for example robin2 space iphone z file name c here it is showing number p address uh, physical address virtual address length size section type string c here we uh, it is showing that hi hello welcome to hack the hacker channel this is the string that is written in the object file okay and this is the main use of the robin2 it is uh, extract the information from the object file okay uh, now we move into r2 uh, after you install the <coughs> r2 just enter r2 okay here we it is showing some options just enter r2 iphone h it is showing all the options that you can use with the r2 mm, just enter r2 space object file name enter here now it is a address now we are at this address and it is a hexadecimal address here 0x defines as a hexadecimal and just enter aa aa means analyze all that means we are in analyzing mode and just pdb here pdb is a function uh, that is mainly used for the print disable functions oh, one minute Okay, PDB shows the, all the details of this uh, function. Uh, just uh, now we are at this function, so we have to move at the main function. So enter yes space main. That means we are entering to main. Here is stands for seek. Okay, see here address is changed. Before we are at one zero five zero address. Now we are moved to double one three five. Now enter PDB. See is showing the into main function now we are at main function and it is showing all the details just maximize it mm. see uh, here we write a string hi hello welcome to hack the hacker channel okay and these are the information uh, first it is moving rbp rbp is the base pointer it is uh, moving rbp value to the stack here push is the stock operation and move rbp to rsp uh, we are moving stock pointer value to the base pointer and data index here we are defining string hi hello welcome to hack the hacker channel and we are calling uh, we are moving 0 to the eax and we are calling the printf function and no operation then pop we are popping the rbp value and return this is our c function c code okay now if you want to see what is written in this printf just enter yes space sim dot imp dot printf see again address is changed now we are in printf function if you want to see what we return in printf just enter pdb in pdb there is only one statement it is jumping keyword and uh, relocation printf this is a printf function and uh, uh, if you want to see what are the options just enter question mark see these are the all operations percentile value and uh, a analysis commands b is for the display or change the block size all these things and another main thing is v v is a visual mode just enter v see 
uh, here it is showing as GUI uh, disassemble functions all these function symbols like this if you now we are at disassembly if you enter into functions just enter P please change the these things view things now we are at functions thing if you enter if you okay just enter P see now we are at symbols and if you want to enter into disassemble just enter P okay now we are in this uh, disassembly function and if you want to enter this code just enter C C now we are in we are entering into this and if you if you want to return this now we have mm, just go to down oh see here it is like a if condition if uh, first we are comparing rax and rdi value and if both uh, if jump equal to 0x that means we are we are uh, jumping from this to this it is like a if else condition if this is true then go to this like this uh, if you want to change this code just enter i and here it is asking insert is not available because io dot catch is off turn on now just enter y ok now we are in insert mode just enter insert x uh, here uh, now we are checking j na so just if you want to perform no operation just enter 1990 that means no operation here 90 declared as a no operation uh, there is a uh, hexadecimal code for mentioning the operations you can see that in google just go to google enter hexadecimal code for assembly functions assembly exa codes just open any site mm. Sorry, it is not opening. Uh, okay, go to back, and if you want to get uh, go to back, just enter Q. See, we are now back. Okay, and just enter ninety. Sorry. Mm. If you want to get um, go to back just enter Q see these are used of R2 uh, we can see more examples in next further videos thanks for watching please like our video and uh, subscribe our channel if you have any doubts please comment in the below section thank you